the banana is kind of the shape of a man's penis, okay? Oh. All a nigga gotta do is yell, rip it, pull out the magnum. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Leon Lush video. What an absolute privilege to see you again. Today we're going to be looking at another Parents Explain video. Uh, this one's a little bit less controversial than the last one I did, where parents were explaining masturbation to very young children. This one follows the same premise, uh, except they're explaining birth control. So it's not really about the controversy as much as it's just about some good, some good hearty cringe that goes along with kids talking about sexual things. Let's, uh, let's, let's get right into it. <laughs> These are my kids, Alicia, who's 13, and Andrew, who is 10. And annoying. Today, we're going to talk about birth control. What do you know about birth control? You take pills. Why do you think someone would prevent getting pregnant? Because they probably don't want a child. It's nice to see there's a wide array of participants. I mean, we're starting off with the white Christian family that definitely homeschools their kids and probably doesn't let their kids use the internet or go outside or talk to people outside of the church community. We have single white mom that's raised her adopted daughter on the meager wages of being a bank teller after several years ago her husband divorced her because of her infertility. I'm just making this up. I don't, I don't, that's probably not true. And we have black mom and son and we have black mom and daughter. Now the daughter, I can't really tell, I'm having trouble pegging how old she is. Out of all the kids, she looks like she could be 11 or 23. I'm going to cut it somewhere in between, say she's like 15. I, 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 it's, she's just tough to tell. Tough to tell. Bananas! <laughs> awesome. Bananas! What's uh, bananas have anything to do with we'll it? We'll get there. Son, look at me in the eyes. Bananas has everything to do with it. It's not 100% effective. Mommy got pregnant with you and I was on birth control. So she dispelled my myth of being a single mother of an adopted child, but by the looks of the kid, it must have been some sort of interracial relationship, which is no problem. I'm just concerned that if Tariq Nasheed sees this video, he's gonna strike it because he doesn't believe in interracial mingling. If you don't know who Tariq Nasheed is, you should probably keep it that way. Sorry, that was a little caveat, moving on. Sometimes there's flavored condoms, so. Why? Um, that's uh... another. Why flavored condoms, you ask? Let's just say that if this was a you-know-what, and you put on a you-know-what, it goes in the you-know-who, and then, oh my god. I think I missed my calling as a uh, sex ed teacher. <laughs> okay, why is this thing so big? That's what she said. <laughs> because she has to put it inside her to capture the sperm. Oh, that's nasty. Do you want to open one up? Make a big boy. <laughs> Make a big <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so. Ho, 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 ho. Got those mega big boy rubbers. Looks like mom's been getting that good, good pipe. You know what I'm saying? Gotta make sure there's some air. Some air? Mm hmm. <laughs> Gotta leave some space between the top. And here you'll notice the son who's supposed to be being taught about condoms is actually teaching his mother how to correctly use condoms. If anyone knows a thing or two, you know that you're supposed to leave a little air pocket at the top of the condom so that when you begoin you, okay, there's room for it to, there's room for the, for it to fill. When it cut, when the semen comes in. Two hours later. There's room for the semen to fill the top, oh, forget it, forget it. There you go. There needs to be room for the sperm to shoot out. Took the words right out of my mouth. You put it on and you roll it. Uh, do you have experience doing this, dude? <laughs> Sometimes figuring out a picture to use for the thumbnail can be difficult as a YouTuber. Other times, it can present itself to you like it just did with this picture right here. Fantastic. Just remember, this is just as much the male's job as the girl's job to prevent pregnancy. Uh, no, it's the girl's job to do 20 jumping jacks after intercourse to get it all out of there so she doesn't get pregnant. <laughs> Hello? Some sort of spermicide or something that kills off the sperm? It kills the sperm. Now, will that prevent disease? Mm -hmm. Correct. Does spermicide prevent disease? No, it does not. Count it, plus one homeschoolers. Correct. There's another method called the pullout. It don't work Do half the time. 
How you know? <laughs> what? There's another method called the pullout? Mom! Mom, what the fuck, Mom? You can't be teaching your... I could I could go so many places with this, with this right now, uh, jokes-wise, but I'm going to reel it in. Uh, but, Mom, you probably shouldn't be teaching your 13-year-old son that pulling out is a method of birth control, you fucking idiot. Do you know what outer course is? No. Different ways that you can express your love and you can be sexual um, without having to... Um... Blowies. That's what you're trying to say. So the penis can rub on the outside. Some guys rub their penis between the woman's breasts, especially if they push the breasts together. <laughs> Mom, no, you didn't. You slag. Oh, oh man, this is good. Sh that's that's some good shit. Homeschool mom for the win. Talking about titty titty. Tit She's talking about titty fucking to her to her kids. This is this is a treat. Wow. Whew. Getting a little red here. Oral sex. Blowjob. No. Oh. Wait, what? Especially if they push the breasts together. Blah. My childhood is ruined. <laughs> oh, and there it is. My life is ruined. Oh, the embarrassment for these poor children. Not saying sex education is a bad thing, right? I'm not, I'm not kind of goofing on this video like I was on the last one. I don't think it's as controversial, but it's still pretty awkward, right? Which makes for like a good viewing session for you and I. I'm really glad we shared this moment together. I hope that we can do this again sometime. What do you say? Excellent. Why don't we move down to the comments and see if we can find a couple of diamonds in the rough before I head out of here to grill some chicken before my wife gets home. Am I the only one that thinks some of the parents are getting a little too explicit? Oh, personally, I think that homeschool mom probably could have left out the whole, like, throwing your dick in between the tits part. That maybe was a little much, but otherwise, I mean, yeah, it was fair game. Fair game. Why are some of the parents here so overweight? I'm not trying to be a dick here. Dear parents, your kids are still young, and if you don't take care of yourself as well as them, you may not be with them for a very long time in their adult life. Also, being old is not fun. Being old and really overweight is even worse. <laughs> take care of yourself, people. Little off topic here, Galahad, Galahad Knight, but uh, just you're just a hater, dude. Let fat people be fat. Come on, man. When the black dude already know about everything. Vamayo. Laughing till I'm crying times three. She's not wrong. I mean, he did, he knew what was up with that condom in the air pocket. I, I mean, whatever. You be the judge. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really have a great time when we uh, spend a little time together. I'd like to do it more if we could. Be sure to go ahead and stand up out of your computer chair and hip thrust the hell out of that like button leave a comment down below on what you think of this video i appreciate you sticking through the cringe with me uh nigel my man do you have any last words i want you to jam a banana down my throat that's you're that's disgusting you're a disgusting prick cue the outro here it comes <laughs> <laughs>